Hello everyone, this is Movie Storm, and today we're going to tell you about the 2017 film, The Wall. The story begins with the demonstration of Sergeant Matthew and his spotter, Isaac. They were sent to a pipeline construction site to track down an enemy sniper. They spend 20 hours searching but couldn't find the sniper. Matthew removes his camouflage, claiming there's no sniper. However, Isaac believes the workers were killed by a skilled sniper known as Juba. After waiting a few more hours, Matthew becomes impatient and decides to inspect the site while Isaac covers him. While examining the bodies, Matthew concludes that it was the work of an enemy sniper. Isaac urges him to leave quickly, but Matthew wants to determine the possible sniper's location. Suddenly, the enemy sniper shoots Matthew in the leg, and Isaac rushes to help but also gets shot. Due to the severity of the injuries, Isaac tries to call for backup, but finds that their radio was hit by a bullet. Matthew asks Isaac to figure out the sniper's location. Shortly after, Matthew decides to reach for his rifle, but due to the loss of blood, he loses consciousness. Isaac tries to remove the bullet from his leg, and also loses consciousness. When Isaac regains consciousness, he hears radio noises, and someone on the radio tries to make him reveal his location. Isaac suspects that it's the enemy sniper, who gained access to their radio station. Jack location. Say that again. You got an accent. Not American. Despite the truth being revealed, the sniper wants Isaac to continue the conversation, but Isaac refuses. The sniper threatens to kill Matthew, to force cooperation. At this time, Isaac hoping to find the place where the sniper is sitting, he is drawing a map. A couple of minutes later, the sniper says that he is an ordinary citizen of Iraq, trying to save his country. Meanwhile, he asks about Isaac's family, but Isaac doesn't want to answer. Mockingly, Isaac laughs at the sniper, because he eliminates people, who want to improve his country. The sniper mocks Isaac, believing that any foreign aid would end up in American bank accounts, and not help the country. Isaac attempts to drink water from his flask, but fail, because she got shot. The sniper admits to shooting the flask, radio, and Matthew's leg to prevent their escape. Isaac accuses the sniper of being a terrorist, but the sniper retorts that he is in a foreign country. Isaac manages to spot the sniper lying in a pile of trash, and attempts to distract him with a decoy. He also suspects that the sniper is not a native resident, but a former officer of the USA, who decided to switch sides. The sniper strongly denies this, and at this point, Isaac collapses from exhaustion. When Isaac regains his strength, he tries to outsmart the sniper, but loses his helmet in the process. All that remains to be done, is to make a dash towards the eliminated soldier, hoping to find something useful. However, the sniper opens fire, hitting directly into the optical scope. Sounds start coming from the radio, it turns out, that Matthew has survived, and he passes on the sniper's location to Isaac. And while Isaac distracts the men, Matthew quietly reaches for his rifle. The men decides to reveal, that he used to work as a teacher at the local school. However, after his students were eliminated, he sought revenge for them. The sniper questions why Isaac is using a broken optical sight. And Isaac responds, that it's in memory of his eliminated friend, Dean, as it was his mistake, that led to his friend leaving this world. Matthew reaches his rifle, and opens fire on the trash pile, but the sniper wounds him, causing Isaac to ask Matthew, to crawl towards him. However, it's too late. Isaac loses hope, and just thinks about his home. The sniper tells him, that if that's what he truly wants, he can stand up and leave, as he won't harm him. Isaac admits, that he was the one, who eliminated his friend, but it was entirely accidental. He had to come up with a story about an enemy sniper, taking him out. Suddenly, the radio turns on, and it turns out the sniper is using Isaac's name to call for help from the base. Isaac tries to break the radio, but it's unsuccessful. Several hours pass, and Isaac regains himself. Using a rope and a stick, he retrieves Matthew's rifle, just as helicopters appear in the distance. In an attempt to reveal himself, he pushes the wall, and the sniper tries to spot Isaac, but it's difficult due to the large cloud of dust. However, Isaac manages to spot the enemy, and opens fire to see if he can eliminate him. Isaac stands up, but the sniper doesn't shoot. It seems like Isaac is finally saved, but as the helicopter takes off, the sniper starts eliminating the soldiers. The pilot loses control, and the helicopter crashes. The movie ends with a scene, where the sniper asks to send a new rescue team. And that's all for today. We would love to hear your thoughts on this movie, write to us in the comments, 
or simply suggest something interesting. See you very soon. Goodbye.